Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to open up a locked WinRAR file if you don't know the password. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our internet browser and we're going to go to passwordunlocker.com. I'll put that link in the description below. And you can either buy the full version for $23 or you can download a free trial. So after you download or buy the full version, you're going to want to open up the program and under file name you're going to want to open up the locked WinRAR file I'm just gonna make one really quick so I can show you guys how to do this I'm gonna set the password just to be one two three Hit OK. So now I have my WinRAR file, and if I try to open up the text document, it's going to ask me for a password. So if I don't know that password, under where it says file name, I'm going to open that um, new WinRAR file, and it's going to ask you what type of attack you want to do on the file to figure out the password and you can either choose a brute force attack which is going to try all possible combinations of numbers letters and symbols or you can um, use a mask attack and if you use that you can click on this brute force tab and select um, the length of the password if you know that or what characters are in it and so since my password is one two three i can set the max length to three and I can take off A through Z, capital A through Z, in the symbols. And now, when I press start, it's going to search only using numbers and numbers, and only trying combinations up to three um, symbols or spaces long. So now, when I press start, down at the bottom, it's going to show that it scans for passwords and right here as you can see it came up and it tells me the password to my uh, WinRAR file now if you're using this and there's passwords that are up to like 10 digits long and you don't know if um, they're numbers only this could take up to three or four hours just to crack that password so it's it's really if you have the time to do it it's worth it and if you have the money to do it twenty twenty three dollars seems like a lot for a program that you might not use very often but if you have the time and money then it's a good program to use alright guys if you like this video be sure to comment like or subscribe and if you missed my last two videos one of them showed how to set up an apache server on your computer and the other one shows how to hack into a, a Wi-Fi network if you don't know the password. So you can check those out if you'd like. And as always, have a good day.